right, good morning. It is Wednesday and I just got to Epcot. It's about 20 minutes before the park officially opens and um, Aaron is asleep because he is tired. <laughs> um, so I'm just doing Epcot a little bit solo for a few hours. He's gonna come meet me here for some fast passes and for lunch um, a little bit later, but I just asked on my Insta story if I should rope drop Frozen or if I should rope drop Soren and people are voting so I'm kind of waiting to see the result and then I'll decide if I'm gonna run over to Norway or if I'm gonna head over to the Land Pavilion and do Soren. I, I'm not gonna do both rides because that's a lot of running around, um, but I'll pick one. I like them both equally, so we'll see. It's a very pretty morning. It's quite chilly, but it's sunny and I love sun, so I'm in a good mood. Okay, so here's a little survey I'm doing on my Instagram. It says, headed to Epcot Rope Drop, which ride should I do? Frozen or Soren? And um, I do like them both equally, but right now it looks like Soren is getting the edge, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna head to Soren. Okay, so this is the Rope Drop Rush at Epcot. It's pretty civilized, actually. <laughs> rope drop I've seen in a while. No one's running, no one's pushing, everybody's pretty chill, so good choice. <laughs> morning at Epcot. I think I'm gonna walk over and do that Nemo ride which I think is a little bit lame but every once in a while I like to go on it so since I'm solo and I'm not trying to impress my husband I'm gonna I'm gonna do the seas with Nemo and friends. Checking out some manatees. They're so cute. I mean, as cute as a manatee could be. Look at them. Oh, I love it. And then if you look up there, it looks like they just got fed and they got fed a whole bunch of lettuce <laughs> or greens, because I believe they are vegetarian. Look at how sweet. Oh, hello. <laughs> And then check out this eel. Eels are like creepy but also beautiful at the same time. I wish I could see his face. I'm sure once I see his face I'll feel afraid. <laughs> I think he's like tucked into that rock there. His little head is. It's a face. Can you see it? He's like, Disney kitty, I'm gonna eat you. I'm sorry, they're actually kind of scary. Hi. Slowly back away from the eel. Ah. Oh, and there's a seahorse. So cute. Whoa. All right, so I'm in mouse gear, and here are all the oofoofies. These are like all the rage right now. They're pretty cute. I like the animals more than the humans. Here's some of the Festival of the Arts merchandise. The mug's actually really pretty. 
I like that it's got Rafiki and Simba on it. It's kind of cool. And here's the Turvis tumbler. I kind of like this. I don't need any of this stuff, but it's fun to touch it. <laughs> Okay, I'm still waiting for Aaron, and I'm getting a little hungry, so I have always wanted to try the Cronut in Epcot. I just stopped by the refreshment port, and look at this. Look at this thing of beauty. It looks insane. So um, I'm gonna give this a try, and I probably won't eat the whole thing because we have lunch reservations later, but I gotta try it, so it's been on my list for a couple years. And there's two different kinds available. You can get it in cinnamon and sugar, or you can get it with like pastry cream and little pearls. And I, of course, picked the extra fancy one because it's kind of go big or go home when you're here, right? So I'm gonna dig into this and I'm um, gonna see how it is. We'll see. Okay, I tried to take a bite of it with my fork and it was not <laughs> working. So I'm actually just gonna pick it up and like try to eat it like this. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. Ah! Um, wow, that is really, really, really good. Uh, this might be the best snack I've ever had in Epcot. It's not like a snack, it's like a dessert that's like a meal. But, mmm, it's delicious. I'm not a fan of a lot of like, like I don't like the school bread in Norway, and I don't like a lot of other like really popular Disney treats, but this cronut is pretty awesome. So, I highly recommend the cronut, especially, especially this one that has the pearls and the frosting and the cream. It's ridiculously good. Okay, somebody special just arrived in Epcot. I'm very excited. Who's that? <laughs> Me? It's, it's Tigger. Oh, thank uh, you. So sweet. How you doing? Okay. Did you have a good rest? Yeah, you let me sleep in. Thank yeah, you. I know, this makes yeah. me such a good wife. Um, and we're headed over to the Imagination Pavilion and we're gonna do the Pixar Film Fest, which is really cute and he's never done that before. And sorry for the glare, but it's really sunny out here. All right, we just watched the Pixar Film Fest. What did you think, this is my critic? What did you think, what did you think? Who was your favorite I one? liked them all, actually, I really did. <laughs> Probably my, if I had to pick a very, very favorite, maybe the dog one? The dog one? Yeah, it was very super we need to cute, get a but dog. The, the Bird Piper one was really cute, I've too. been campaigning for us to get a dog. Because it's the year of the dog. It's the year of the dog. It's the year of the dog. Year of the dog. Yeah. This is our year to get a dog, maybe a baby. But definitely a dog. Definitely a dog. Definitely a dog? Okay. You heard it here. Say it. Say it. Um, no. Definitely a dog. We'll work on a dog. We're going to get a dog. <laughs> we'll work on a dog. <laughs> okay, so we had a fast pass for Test Track. That's down right now. We also had a fast pass for Figment. That is down right now. So basically, Future World is dysfunctional and we are not sure what to do. We might oh. just go over to World Showcase. Well, the, future, the future is broken. The future is broken. Future world is broken. <laughs> okay, so we are headed into World Showcase. We're going to work on this Figments brush with the Masters art scavenger hunt. And we're actually going to start in Canada because I feel like we always start in Mexico, but we're going the opposite direction today. So I have a map, Aaron has a map and we're gonna find some art. Okay, so we're at the Canada Pavilion, which I like never ever come to because it's kind of at the far end of World Showcase. We usually start on the other side by Mexico, so this is very exciting. I've actually never really walked around here much. Look at this grumpy bear mug. Huh, <laughs> that one's cute too. Barely awake. There's a whole big beautiful waterfall back here, which I've never even seen. So cool, actually. Aaron just talked me into watching the Canada movie, the 360 degree vision Canada film. It was actually kind of sweet, and it was exactly what I remember as a kid. Or at least the song was, Canada, my Canada, na 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 I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's like sometimes you come to Epcot and do things that you don't normally do. It's it's refreshing. It's very refreshing. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Like Canada? We it like, like we both really like Canada, so that made us happy. <laughs> okay, we found our first figment painting. Yep, there it is. I know, it took us forever actually, but there you go. It's Figment in the Dreamer's Woods. So there you go, I put my sticker down and now we've got a whole bunch more to do. That took 
a little bit too long, the first one. It's a challenging scavenger hunt. So we are back in the UK pavilion and look at the really cute Peter Pan merchandise. There's a little, there's a tea set. There's these adorable little plates, pillows. It's hard to see this because it's a little bit backlit, but I love this never grow up shirt. That's my favorite. There's Mary Poppins. She's out greeting guests. She's very pretty. There's my husband. He's on the phone. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with him, but that's fine. It's okay. All right here is the figment scavenger hunt painting for the United Kingdom Pavilion, and it's back in the Pooh Corner or Thoughtful Spot area. And there is the Festival of the Arts Figment Scavenger Hunt painting for Italy. It's the Mona Lisa one, of course. See, I got my little stickers on there. So, I don't think we're gonna finish this, but we are gonna get the pins, because the pins are really cute, so. Okay, we are now back in the China Pavilion in the gift shop, and we are finding the Figment painting for, for this country, and it's up here in the corner. So there it is, you can recognize it because there's a figment at the bottom of the frame, but also he's actually in all the paintings, so can you see him up there? It's really cute. I'm really enjoying this scavenger hunt, it's very fun, so. Are you having fun, honey? Yeah. Yeah, we're having fun. your vehicle by drawing a line from one to two. Touch optimized to find your vehicle's aerodynamic shape. That's our vehicle. What do you think about our vehicle? You excited? I wouldn't want to ride in that either, but it looks cool. <laughs> okay, we're about to test our death mobile. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna survive. <laughs> okay, we are headed out of Epcot. First, I want to ask my husband what he thought of Test Track. It's more of a ride than I thought it was gonna be. You didn't think it was gonna be a real ride? Yeah. Well, it's Epcot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fun. It went really, really fast. It did. But it's smooth, not like a roller coaster. And a mess of our out. hair. Yeah, my hair was like. <laughs> yes, or something. <laughs> You've got such good hair, sweetie. Thank you. You do. I married you for your hair. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit later. We had a great rest back at the room. Um, Epcot kind of wiped us out. That pizza kind of wiped us out. But now we're at Disney Springs, and we're going to go check out the new Star Wars Void experience, which is supposed to be amazing. Um, I don't really know anything else about it. I'm a little nervous because virtual reality stuff kind of makes me anxious because I'm old. Um, but we're going to go check it out and I'll let you know how it is. It's a beautiful evening at Disney Springs. Not too chilly, but cold enough to keep the crowds away. Really clear evening. Just really nice. This is it, the Star Wars Void. It's near Earl of Sandwich, down at the end of the springs. This is what we are doing, Star Wars Secrets of the Empire. <laughs> cool. <laughs> For sure. Look at all your wristbands. Yeah. It's very exciting. Star Wars, Star Wars, yeah. Star Wars and Star Wars. Same color. All good. <laughs> I guess that's what we're about to do. That looks crazy. What did we think of the Star Wars Void? It was awesome. That was awesome. It was awesome. I I don't even know what to say about it. I am and then a I, terrible stormtrooper. You were a great stormtrooper. Storm I, was, I shot the, the good guy again and again. I shot the good again. guy too. It was a little confusing to know who was. I didn't was, realize he was a good guy. Who was a rebel dark. and who was dark side? If you're in Disney Springs and you like Star Wars or you just like to be amazed, like even if you don't like Star Wars, if yeah. you just want to be amazed. I'm amazed by you. So. <laughs> Go check it out. It's a Star Wars void. It was super cool. I would do it again, actually. It was awesome.
I'm like in the best mood. That Star Wars thing like knocked my socks off. And it's such a beautiful evening here. And like, it's kind of cold, but not really. It's like perfect out here. I'm just like so happy. Oh look, there is a big sea monster. There he is. I wonder what his name is. Is it supposed to be the Loch Ness Monster? It's just awesome. I'm so happy. We're on our way to the Polite Pig. There's my husband. He's always video bombing. And then I saw this weird guy on the street. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, who is that weirdo? And it's my friend Jim. So here he is. I live at Disney Springs. Yes, going? there's Jim. You remember Jim from, from the vlogs. Two, I think, have made two appearances. Yep, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm not dancing this time. You're on your way to internet stardom, though. Yes. It's gonna happen. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so we're checking out the Polite Pig. I've heard it's really good. I got the bourbon mule, and so did Aaron. And Jim got a rum and coke. There it is. Not that any of us drink alcohol. <laughs> or anything like that. But no, shout never cheers. Been to Trader Sam's, ever. Cheer no, never. Cheers. 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 This is delicious. Okay, so our food just came. This actually looks amazing. What do we we got the butcher board, which is just a bunch of meat. <laughs> It actually looks awesome, so I'm really excited to dig into this. Jim thinks he's not eating, but I'm gonna make him eat. <laughs> but I'm really, yeah. Really good. I'm really excited. So good. Was, All right, so we are just leaving uh, the Polite Pig. We really liked it. I would go there again. And um, we're headed to our car at Disney Springs, and we are going home, we are going to sleep. So this is me signing out of our first full day at Disney this January, and um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for more walkie goodness. Bye guys.